History means everything to people here. This MiG jet bombed the city in 1988, before it crashed. It's been turned into a monument, but people don't need to be reminded of Somaliland's brutal war with Somalia. Even the young feel bitter. For them, Somaliland has a right to independence. So I feel my ownership of my right, right to freedom, right to choose uh, the, 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 the president that I like. So Somaliland independence has a similar value with the air that we are breathing. Somaliland has its own constitution, its own parliament, and even its own currency, the Somaliland shilling. But without international recognition, it can't get the foreign investment it needs. It is Somalia which has received all the recognition and money. At a recent conference in London, donors pledged millions of dollars. The president of Somaliland refused to attend the talks. The president of Somalia has, has made it very clear in speeches, and he's been very clear about this, that he wants a united Somalia. Well, I think I have been very clear too, that we are going to retain our independence. But we would like to remain friends with Somalia, we would like to cooperate with them, but as far as our independence is concerned, it's not I who had started, it's not my government who decided, it's the people of Somalia and the history of Somaliland which has decided that Somalia is going to be. And Somalia has always been a different country. It's easy to understand why people here feel abandoned. While war raged in Somalia for decades, Somaliland has managed to unite its people. It's now the biggest exporter of livestock to Saudi Arabia. Much of the progress has been down to Somalis sending money from abroad. Whether it is a conflict resolution, whether it is the building of our government, sustainability of peace, and uh, the, the, the independent parties and elections, all of that, we are doing our, ourselves. No support at all. The African Union has dismissed Somaliland's calls for independence, and the international community seems unwilling to back recognition. But people here say they'll never give up hope of statehood. No matter what. Nazni Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Hargeza.